Welcome to another episode of Rithu the Explorer Travel Vlog. In this episode, we will embark on a journey through time and technology as we explore one of the most impressive railway museums in the world, the National Railway Museum in York, England. Prepare to be transported back in time and discover the fascinating history and iconic locomotives that have shaped the world of railways. We took a local taxi from our location to the York National Railway Museum. To our surprise, our driver had a wealth of stories to share about the museum. He was overjoyed to tell us about his childhood memories when his father worked at the York National Railway Museum. York's a nice city. Yes, it is. <laughs> the only people that don't appreciate York are people that's been born here and have never, uh, never seen yeah. anywhere else. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Proud of it. Absolutely. Yeah, so we... The National Railway Museum in York gave us a warm welcome and the site of the Railway Museum road train was impressive. Guess what? We'll be taking this train to Yorkminster later on. Stay tuned. The York Railway Museum is open seven days a week, from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. A typical visit usually takes about 1.5 hours to two hours or even longer. You have the option to book your museum admission in advance for free, which not only saves time, but also ensures your entry to the museum. When you arrive, simply show your QR code or order number to receive your free tickets. Alternatively, you can purchase tickets at the museum counter. It's important to note that the York Railway Museum is a charitable organization and relies on donations to continue sharing the rich history of railways. You have the opportunity to make a donation when booking your free tickets or during your visit to the museum. And if you would like to support the National Railway Museum, you can find a link to donate in the description. Nestled in the heart of the historic city of York, the National Railway Museum stands as a testament to the rich heritage of railways in the United Kingdom. York, with its deep-rooted connection to the railway industry, is the perfect backdrop for this awe-inspiring museum. It all began in the 1920s when the York Railway Museum was established, setting the stage for what would eventually become the National Railway Museum in 1975. Now, let's dive into the heart of the museum, the remarkable collection it houses. The National Railway Museum boasts an extensive collection of over 100 locomotives and nearly 300 other railway vehicles and rolling stock. Among the stars of the show are iconic steam locomotives like the awe-inspiring Flying Scotsman, the record-breaking Mallard, and the historic Stevenson's Rocket, which is often regarded as the pioneer of modern steam locomotion. One of the standout features of this museum is its commitment to providing an interactive and immersive experience for visitors of all ages. This is the great hall in the railway museum space where they exhibit all their engines and bogies. Beyond locomotives, the museum also holds a wide range of carriages that span different eras, showcasing the evolving passenger experiences from the early 19th century to the modern era. These carriages often reflect the luxurious interiors of bygone times or the utilitarian designs of more recent years. From hands-on exhibits that showcase the engineering marvels behind locomotives to the opportunity to step inside historic carriages, the National Railway Museum truly brings railway history to life. You can get a taste of what rail travel was like in different eras, from the luxurious carriages of the Victorian era to the utilitarian comforts of the 20th century. Explore the museum's history with Soundtracks audio trail on your phone, connect with the past, discover fascinating stories, and enjoy free access through your smartphone and feel free to bring your own headphones.
In 1829, the Liverpool and Manchester Railway had a contest to find the best way to pull carriages and wagons. They considered using horses, stationary engines with cables, or steam locomotives. Rocket, a steam locomotive, won the competition, and it became the first long-distance train line. This marked a significant moment for steam locomotives, which went on to change the world. Rocket was built by Robert Stevenson as a prototype, and it continued to evolve. It introduced important principles that later steam locomotives followed. In a replica with a cutaway view, you can see many tubes in the boiler, a blast pipe, and a direct connection between the piston and the wheels. All of these innovations made Rocket more efficient. The original Rocket went through several changes during its nearly 30 years of service. The Sterling Single No. 1 refers to a famous steam locomotive that was built in 1870 by the Great Northern Railway, GNR, built at Doncaster, England. This locomotive was designed by Sir Patrick Sterling, who was the chief mechanical engineer of the GNR at the time. The Sterling Single No. 1 was the first locomotive in a series of single-wheel express passenger locomotives designed by Sterling for the GNR. The Sterling Single No. 1 was known for its distinctive appearance and innovative design. It featured a single large driving wheel, which was unusual for locomotives of the time. The locomotive was built for speed and was used to haul express passenger trains on the GNR's mainline routes. It was a well-regarded locomotive in its day and was known for its efficiency and speed. Talking about research and conservation, behind the scenes, the National Railway Museum is a hub for railway research and conservation. A dedicated team of experts works tirelessly to preserve and restore the historic locomotives and rolling stock in their collection, ensuring that these treasures of transportation history endure for future generations to enjoy. Indulge in the world's most renowned steam locomotive, through a stunning new virtual reality immersive encounter, available for just seven pound per person. Step into the world of Flying Scotsman VR and embark on an enthralling journey through time and across continents, immersing yourself in the pivotal moments of this remarkable locomotive's 100 year history. Established in 1975, the National Railway Museum NRM is an integral part of the prestigious Science Museum Group, renowned for its commitment to preserving scientific and technological heritage. Its location in York holds historical significance, as the city has a deep-rooted association with the evolution of railways, stemming from its role as a vital railway hub in the United Kingdom. The NRM proudly houses an expansive and diverse collection of railway memorabilia, locomotives, carriages, and an array of railway-related equipment, with over 1,000 historically significant items, it provides a comprehensive journey through railway history. The museum frequently hosts educational programs and events, making it an ideal place for children and adults alike to learn about the history and impact of railways on society. The NRM is not static. It's a dynamic institution that regularly hosts special events, exhibitions, and educational programs. These events may focus on specific themes such as the history of railway engineering or the stories of the people who worked on the railways. Such initiatives keep the museum fresh and relevant, attracting both railway enthusiasts and those new to the world of trains. In 
1934, Great Western Railway introduced its diesel rail car, number no. 4, measuring 66 inches in length, 9 7.5 inches in width, and 12 9.5 inches in height. This early model with a buffet counter and streamlined design was part of GWR's successful railcar fleet, known as Flying Bananas, used until the 1960s. The Duchess of Hamilton refers to a famous steam locomotive in the United Kingdom. It is a preserved LMS Princess Coronation class steam locomotive, built in 1938 for the London, Midland and Scottish Railway (LMS). The Duchess of Hamilton is renowned for its streamlined design and was part of the Coronation Scott train service, known for its speed and luxury. At the York's National Railway Museum, we crafted a souvenir using the penny press machine. Begin by selecting your preferred penny design by turning the wheel. Proceed with the payment, and then turn the wheel once more until you receive your penny pressed. The Mallard is one of the most famous steam locomotives in history. It's a member of the LNER, London and Northeastern Railway, A4 class of locomotives, designed by Sir Nigel Gresley. Mallard 4468 set the world speed record for steam locomotives on July 3, 1938, hitting 203 kilometers per hour. This record-breaking feat took place near Grantham, England, and it remains a significant achievement in the history of rail transportation. Pullman Car Company First Class Parlor Car Topaz, crafted in 1913 by Birmingham Railway Carriage and Wagon Works Company Limited, Smethwick began its service with the Southeastern and Chatham Railway in 1914. Pullman cars like this were an ultimate luxury on Britain's railway. Created during the pre-war years of growing international travel, Topaz ran on services from London to Folkestone and Dover, where passengers could take the ferry and then a luxury train all the way to Paris. The carriage was withdrawn in 1960 and restored by the Pullman Car Company. 
During this restoration, Topaz's livery was reverted from umber and cream back to its original pre-1920s, crimson. American entrepreneur George Pullman became a household name after he introduced lavish carriages to the American railways in 1862, featuring carpets, upholstered chairs, and steward service. The Midland Railway brought the concept to the UK in 1874. These carriages, hailing from the Bodmin and Wadebridge Railway, constitute the world's oldest and most intact collection of railway carriages. Serving as Cornwall's inaugural steam railway, they vividly illustrate the various travel classes, first, second, and third, that were available to passengers during the 1800s. In the early days of railways, second-class carriages occasionally lacked window glass, and some third-class carriages lacked seats altogether. Traveling could be quite uncomfortable and crowded, especially on special excursion trains. The museum displayed a range of exhibits, from Hun trucks dating back to the 1560s to tramway wagons. We also saw a miniature train that worked to remove debris during the digging of the Channel Tunnel. It's enjoyable to have the opportunity to enter and explore a few trains at the Railway Museum. As if the locomotives and rolling stock weren't enough, the museum also houses beautifully preserved historic railway stations within its sprawling premises. These stations are not just architectural marvels, but also serve as time capsules, allowing visitors to step into the past and imagine the bustling activity of bygone railway eras. The National Railway Museum has plans for a few more additions in the coming years. Let's take a look at what's inside the model railway. Visitors of all ages will be delighted by the model railway. You can enjoy a panoramic view of the impressive layout and relax while watching the trains pass through tunnels, stations, pastoral landscapes, and reach their final destinations. Let's continue our exploration and move on to the next area, North Shed. The North Shed is the museum's third largest visitor area, following the Great Hall and Station Hall. Inside, you'll find a vast array of smaller railway artifacts, such as locomotive nameplates, 
station signs, and the museum's Flying Scotsman exhibition. Some notable highlights include a statue of Britannia from Euston Station and a collection of historic chamber pots. In addition, the North Shed is home to the J.P. Richards Collection, which consists of 610 LNWR locomotives, carriages, and wagons. These models, crafted between 1944 and 1999, make up the world's largest collection of model railway vehicles created entirely by a single individual. Beyond the models, you can also find full-size rail vehicles within the North Shed. The Class 55 Deltic Coily and an LNER buffet car from 1937. The museum also features an exhibition of chairs, tables, and dining sets used in various buffet cars on trains. Within the museum's extensive collection, you'll find an impressive array of locomotives, carriages, wagons, and railway-related memorabilia. Some of the most iconic and historically significant locomotives in the world are housed within its walls. The National Railway Museum boasts an expansive and diverse collection that is unparalleled in its breadth and significance. This institution, which is part of the Science Museum Group, has curated a treasure trove of railway artifacts and rolling stock that vividly showcases the history and evolution of rail travel in the United Kingdom. These items provide a fascinating glimpse into the daily operations and human stories behind the railways. Moreover, the National Railway Museum isn't confined to just the railways of the UK. It also delves into the global impact of rail travel, featuring exhibitions and collections that explore how railways have shaped societies, economies, and cultures worldwide. These hidden gems are where painstaking efforts are made to restore and maintain the rolling stock, ensuring that these historic treasures continue to captivate the imaginations of generations to come. In essence, the National Railway Museum in York is a haven for railway enthusiasts and history buffs alike. It offers an immersive journey through time, allowing visitors to step back into the golden age of rail travel, appreciate the engineering marvels of locomotives, and gain a profound understanding of the profound impact of railways on society. It's a living testament to the remarkable story of rail transport and its enduring legacy.
An array of items, including railway seals, railway police helmets along with their helmet badges and various railway clocks, were all on prominent display. Flying Scotsman is one of the most famous and iconic steam locomotives in the world. Flying Scotsman was built in 1923 for the London and Northeastern Railway, LNER, in the United Kingdom. It was designed by Sir Nigel Gresley, one of the most renowned locomotive engineers of his time. The locomotive was initially used for long-distance express passenger services, particularly on the London to Edinburgh route, which led to its famous name, the Flying Scotsman. Flying Scotsman achieved fame for being the first steam locomotive to officially reach a speed of 100 miles per hour, that is, 169 kilometers per hour, in 1934. After its retirement from regular service in 1963, Flying Scotsman was preserved and restored. The locomotive has changed ownership several times, including being privately owned. It was eventually purchased by the National Railway Museum in the UK in 2004. The locomotive underwent a major restoration project and returned to steam in 2016. This was a significant milestone in its history. LNER passenger locomotives had always been painted apple green. But during the Second World War, Flying Scotsman was repainted in wartime black, in common with all railway stock. After the war, it became green again and was rebuilt as an A3 Pacific. In 1948, British Railways was formed and rail travel in Britain was nationalized. Scotsman, now numbered 60103, was painted blue for a time, then BR green. Flying Scotsman has appeared in numerous films, documentaries, and books, cementing its status as a cultural icon. Flying Scotsman continues to captivate the imaginations of people worldwide and remains a symbol of the golden age of steam locomotion. Flying Scotsman has been a popular attraction for rail enthusiasts, and it often embarks on special tours and excursions across the UK, allowing people to experience the nostalgia of steam travel. The National Railway Museum in York offers an exceptional and immersive experience in the world of rail transportation history, and one of its captivating highlights is the signaling demonstration. The Lancashire and Yorkshire Signaling School Model Railway is a remarkable and educational exhibit within the National Railway Museum in York. This miniature railway offers visitors a unique opportunity to explore the intricate world of railway signaling in the context of the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway. This interactive exhibit allows visitors to step back in time and gain a deeper understanding of the intricate art of railway signaling. Visitors can witness the operation of a bygone era's signaling equipment, such as semaphores and signal levers, in action. Knowledgeable staff provide insightful demonstrations, explaining how these systems were used to control train movements and ensure safety on the tracks. The Lancashire and Yorkshire Signaling School Model Railway is not only a delight for railway enthusiasts, but also serves as a valuable educational resource, shedding light on the fascinating history of railway signaling and its importance in the evolution of rail transportation. The L and Y signaling demonstration is not offered on a daily basis. To find information about demonstration dates and times, please visit their website at railwaymuseum.org.uk. Wonder Lab, the Bramall Gallery at the National Railway Museum in York is a captivating and interactive space where science and wonder come together in an engaging and educational experience.
Challenge your engineering prowess as you step into the human wind tunnel, embark on an exhilarating rocket launch adventure, and unleash your imagination with expansive building activities. Inside the Railway Museum in York, you'll find charming cafes where you can take a break from exploring the fascinating exhibits. These cafes offer a cozy atmosphere and a variety of refreshments, making them perfect spots to recharge and enjoy a coffee, snack, or even a full meal while surrounded by the rich history of locomotives and railways. We purchased chicken and bacon sandwiches along with a chocolate milkshake, and they were both fresh and delicious. The National Railway Museum in York has diverse souvenir shops with railway-themed items like model trains, books, clothing, stationery, toys, decor, jewelry, souvenirs, eatables in train-themed packaging, and educational materials. You can also purchase fudge, biscuits, and even scotch whiskeys packaged with train-themed designs. Oh, I love it. I'm buying this. Bought these pretty things from the York National Railway Museum. The souvenir shop offers exquisite miniature train models for sale. It's a top global railway museum offering unique gifts for enthusiasts and visitors. The road train at the National Railway Museum in York is a small, road-going passenger train that shuttles visitors between the museum's main site and York Minster. The train operates on a loop, and it's a popular attraction for families and visitors of all ages. You can buy your tickets from the guard. For adults, it's three pound fifty pence, and child, two pound fifty pence. The road train leaves the railway museum to Duncombe Place, York Minster City Centre, every thirty minutes. The journey begins at the National Railway Museum, York, a haven for railway enthusiasts and history buffs. With a light breeze and the sun shining overhead, anticipation builds as the conductor welcomes everyone on board. The road train itself is a charming and colorful vehicle designed to resemble a miniature train, complete with a locomotive at the front and passenger carriages behind. The road train sets off, taking passengers on a charming journey through time. The rhythmic click-clack of the wheels creates a soothing soundtrack. Each facade tells a story, 
and the train's journey becomes a moving tableau of York's evolution from a Roman fortress to a bustling medieval market town and beyond. The road train's pace allows passengers to savor every moment of the journey. For visitors who have spent the day exploring the National Railway Museum, the road train offers a convenient way to reach the city center without the hassle of finding parking or navigating unfamiliar streets. It also provides a much-needed break from walking, especially if you've been on your feet exploring the museum's extensive collection. The enchanting sights, combined with the rhythmic sounds of the train, create an ambiance of serenity and wonder, inviting passengers to lose themselves in the enchantment of the past. As the train enters the streets of York, passengers are immediately captivated by the quaint beauty of the city. Crowds of visitors bustling about add to the vibrant atmosphere. Shoppers bustle about, clutching bags filled with unique gifts and festive treats. Soon, the traveler's gaze is drawn to the impressive York City walls. The ancient stone fortifications stand tall, offering a glimpse into the city's past as a Roman and medieval stronghold. The train tracks parallel the walls, providing an up-close view of their remarkable preservation. The highlight of the journey approaches as the road train crosses Lendl Bridge. Passengers have a panoramic view of the River Aus beneath them, its waters reflecting the clear blue sky. The bridge's ornate Victorian architecture is a marvel in itself, and the traveler can't help but snap a photo to capture the moment. As the road train continues its journey, the magnificent York Minster Cathedral gradually comes into view. The stunning Gothic architecture and the grandeur of the cathedral's facade leave passengers in awe. The train approaches the heart of the city, where the cathedral stands as a beacon of history and spirituality. The road train riders disembarks at Duncombe Place near York Minster in the York City Centre. The journey on the road train from the Railway Museum of York to York Minster Cathedral and through the beautiful streets of York, including Lendl Bridge, on a sunny day during the Christmas market season is a memorable adventure filled with the magic of the season, historic charm, and the warmth of the city's atmosphere. Keep in mind that the availability and details of specific exhibits and attractions may change over time, so I recommend checking the National Railway Museum's official website or contacting them directly for the most up-to-date information on their exhibits and visitor offerings. And if you would like to support the National Railway Museum, you can find a link to donate in the description. The National Railway Museum in York, England is a true marvel that celebrates the incredible legacy of railways. Whether you're a railway enthusiast, a history buff, or just curious about the impact of trains on society, this museum offers an unforgettable experience. So, the next time you find yourself in York, don't miss the chance to step into the world of steam, steel, and innovation at the National Railway Museum. It's a journey you won't want to miss. Thanks for joining us on this adventure, and be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video to spread the love for railway history. Until next time, happy railroading.